This animation is brought to you by the Nucleus Medical Art Library, or NMAL, where you can download this animation and thousands of medical images and videos created by Nucleus Medical Media. To apply for a free 30-day trial, click on the link in the description. If you are a female and have certain problems with your reproductive organs, your doctor may recommend a robotic hysterectomy to remove your uterus. Your reproductive organs include your vagina, cervix, uterus, fallopian tubes, and ovaries. You may need a robotic hysterectomy if you have one of the following diseases or conditions. Heavy or constant uterine bleeding, anemia and pelvic pain, cancer in your uterus, cervix or ovaries, non-cancerous fibroid tumors in your uterus, or slipping and sagging of your uterus into your vagina due to weak or injured pelvic muscles and uterine ligaments. Before your procedure, an intravenous line, or IV, will be started. You may be given antibiotics through the IV to decrease your chance of infection. You'll be given general anesthesia. A breathing tube will be inserted through your mouth and down your throat to help you breathe during the operation. Your surgeon will make a small incision near your belly button and insert a plastic tube called a port. Carbon dioxide gas will be pumped into your abdomen through this port. The gas will inflate your abdomen, giving your surgeon more room to see and move the surgical tools. After your abdomen is inflated, a high-definition camera will be inserted into this port. Your surgeon will make additional port incisions for robotic instruments as well as instruments used by patient side assistants. An assistant will insert all of the robotic tools through these ports. Unlike standard laparoscopic instruments, these tools can rotate 360 degrees and have more flexibility than the human wrist. Seated at a special console, your surgeon will operate the robotic arms and the camera with joystick-like controls and foot pedals. A computer will translate the exact movements of your surgeon's fingers into precise movements of the surgical tools. At the same time, a high-definition vision system will provide a magnified three-dimensional stereoscopic view of the surgical area. Depending on your condition, you may have a partial hysterectomy, in which your surgeon will remove your uterus, but leave your cervix, fallopian tubes, and ovaries in place. If you have a total hysterectomy, your surgeon will remove your cervix along with your uterus. If you have a radical hysterectomy, your surgeon may also remove your fallopian tubes ovaries, the upper part of your vagina, as well as nearby tissue such as your pelvic lymph nodes. At the end of your procedure, the tiny incisions will be closed with stitches, staples, surgical glue, or closure tape dressings. After your procedure, your breathing tube will be removed and you will be taken to the recovery area for monitoring. You will be given pain medication as needed. You may continue to receive antibiotics through your IV. You may be released from the hospital the same day or within one day after the procedure.